what it do people welcome back to the nutshell as usual you know we do daily reviews of love island season two on this channel i am having technical difficulties as y'all know so if this ends up being podcast like um bear with the girl she is doing the best that she can under the circumstances <laughs> under the circumstances but let's jump into it this episode we see justin justine and caleb go on a date and i love 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 the friendship her and sally have it is so genuine it is so much fun it's the legs for me it's the hair for me it's the syrup legs for me it's the booty for me it's the brain for me it was just epic honestly i loved it i love the conversation that they had and you could see like they're thinking long term they're thinking future and there are talks in place of possibility of relocation where either of them will make the move for them to be together and continue their relationship love moving on to johnny and sally now that they're over their hiccup that they experienced from casa amor they are talking about <laughs> other couples and how things are shaky between other people and yeah they they made up and made out a lot so yeah you know we are team johnny sally up in this piece other couples you see um shaky couples right now is Cher and calvin i think there's a little something something there going on but then they are both open to exploring other relationships with different people i think they should give each other a chance i think every the thing about being on love island is because you never know if we're gonna get dumped so there's haste to make connections and i think that could be just a mistake um other people that are kind of scrambling you see kirsten Kirsten isn't really scrambling, more so Jalen. Jalen, we know, is coupled up with Mackenzie, but then after the previous episode, he saw some red flags when she was pouting about not having enough time. And that was actually um, a mountain that was made from a molehill. I don't like how Mackenzie like reacts to her situation. I have kind of been on, I have held both her and connor accountable but then this is a fresh new guy fresh new situation so i understand what she was trying to say but then how it's gonna come out because she doesn't know how to handle her her possessiveness and her passion it's going to come out like she's super manipulative and i think at 24 years old or however old she is you can't use the excuse of being misunderstood anymore if it occurs like frequently and people outside of a romantic relationship from you are beginning to see like all these little fires they're seeing pat a pattern in you so at first like i i, I really want to play devil's advocate on behalf of Mackenzie but then at the same time I'm just like the people in the villa know her better than I do and especially like there's girls that I trust because they're very sincere aka Justine. Justine and Kirsten I think are people who would tell you the truth without necessarily hurting your feelings but then they'd stand their ground in not backing down from what they say sally too so if those three girls are going to tell Mackenzie, listen you need to at least have an open mind and be open to hearing his perspective instead of dwelling on having an emotional reaction to what he said perhaps that can make the situation better but then it's like at the end of the show basically she was just crying and saying you know you guys i told you how i've struggled with being misunderstood and like he said really mean things to me nah honey he didn't say anything mean he was just very forward he didn't sugarcoat anything and i think she's not just she can't handle the truth you can't handle the truth i think she wants it to be said like 
she wants to be pacified as she is being confronted and i think that is the thing that connor struggles with so i'm glad that she's being set straight not only like not only by jalen but by the girls i think the boys would be too rough on her if they tried to kind of like address that so jalen is interested in kirsten and he uh, talks to her about it and she was like yeah i'm open to exploring things with you for now because you never know what's going to happen in the villa i totally see that happening i think kirsten is a much more confident woman and i think she's a much more articulate and i think she is emotionally stable and i'm not saying i'm not comparing it to anyone i'm just saying that's who i think she is um pretty much Aaron and Moira have decided to just keep being friends while they're in a villa. Of course, Moira didn't have the guts to talk to Aaron about it, even though she had discussed it with the girls in the makeup room. And I'm just like, man, some people be weak up in this place, man. Weak. Moira just needs to go home. Personal opinion. Um, Who else haven't I talked about? Yeah, I think that's it from everyone. Oh, yeah, Quarrington and Laurel, man. Like, he's so off my mind that I even forgot that he existed. So they're having a conversation, and she's talking about how she's well-traveled and how she she has an, a keen interest in traveling. And, like, in the conversation that you're having, what she's saying is so meaningful and so purposeful to her but then like you can see he's so clueless and i think sometimes when you don't know anything about something just like keep quiet and let the person like talk about it because it it comes off like he is kind of ignorant let me just let me just throw that out there Whew. i hope there's no backlash from that statement but Y'all know how I feel about Carrington, so I'm trying to rein in how I truly feel about him and keep some objectivity. I wish that he could bring more depth to the conversations that are aired. I hope they're not trying to portray him as a jerk or as like... A dodo, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I think he's actually like i keep on saying i think there's more to him but he chooses to put forward like a persona that's just not necessarily deep so anyways i'll make this one short because i am tired it's late and i have so much on my plate but the good thing is that we're nearly caught up thank you so much for tuning into my channel and if you've been going down this road with me thank you so much let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below about the whole Mackenzie spiral thing and do you think she'll go try and double back to to Connor do you think they should try and rekindle I don't think they should I think at this point if she tries to do that she will come off as manipulative and i just don't think it's healthy for connor at this time so she made her bed let her lay in it and let her be accountable for her mistakes and that's the thing that i i can't rock with with her she doesn't want to ever admit that she's wrong or try to see someone else's perspective i just can't rock with that and i don't think there's resolving any issues with that person who's like that they need to do some self-reflection so that's it from me for today and until next time y'all know the drill peace and stay safe